you know, sometimes I answer questions like this because there are like themes that kind of run through uh, my page. And sometimes you just have to address them because people uh, have questions or have responses like this. And really all it does is it kind of exposes uh, societal issues and exposes a person's really their ignorance. And you have to understand, most people can only see from their vantage point. Uh, on that note, I would never leave a message like this on anybody's page unless I looked at some other videos and maybe got a little bit more insight and used a little bit more uh, critical thinking skills to get a larger picture on what's trying to be uh, explained or attempted with that person's page. On that note, I'll read this. You know, I've watched these videos and I'm having a hard time with how you're talking about your wife. It feels like you are smugly shaming her and she really needed help. She didn't need a judge. I mean, obviously this person really doesn't have any concept about what this page is about uh, or what, it, what we're trying to explore here. Uh, in fact, my wife got more help probably than any alcoholic should uh, probably, you know, past the point of my self-preservation, which is really what it was about, unfortunately. But let's continue this conversation. And really to answer this question directly, I mean, my wife went to seven rehabilitation facilities, seven detoxes, and then the rehabilitation for 30 days. The seventh one, she fell down a flight of stairs and ended up going to ICU for 28 days. And, you know, eventually it was a very sad horrible experience for her and for everyone involved. Uh, she also went to several outpatient facilities. At one point, she had a court-ordered outpatient facility that she had to go in you know, locally uh, for six months. Uh, it was a hill recovery in Temecula. It was a wonderful place. She had to go there for six to eight hours a day. Uh, and then she had a lot of support because I had to go there uh, once a week for the, the family weekend or for the family night, which was every Thursday. I remember I went there for weeks and weeks with her. Uh, she got nothing but support. And then the family weekends when she was in the rehabilitation facilities, I went there two to three times during that period of the month. You could go see them on Sundays. Uh, sometimes it was me, sometimes it was my son. A lot of times my son didn't really want to, but she had nothing but support. Uh, and, you know, when she was offering... Uh, I mean, she, she got a lot of empathy from myself and my son when she showed, in fact, that she was trying by going to rehabs and detoxing and really working on herself. That's when we really doubled down on giving her support. And again, this platform is all about educating and understanding and creating awareness uh, in, you know, with alcohol use disorder and what it does to families and what it does to alcoholics. Uh, I mean, to suggest that you watch one video and somehow you've, you've surmised uh, that she was shamed is just uh, inaccurate. And, you know, it's just, it's, just, it's just unnecessary. It's just not necessary. It's not a part of uh, our family life, and it never was. Uh, she had a mental health disease, and that was recognized. Uh, and we moved forward with the, all the tools and care that were available to her. Uh, there was never any judgmental. There was never any shaming. I mean, there was animosity and anger. There, there's no way you can, uh, you know, not come home uh, and find your wife drunk uh, and not feel anger and animosity. But you just get to the point where you just walk over the top of it and you go on with your life. Uh, there's nothing you can do. And I recognized that early on, that it had nothing to do with myself or my son. And it was really about protecting the two of us uh, near the end, honestly. And really to cap off, uh, if you see, if you, if it comes across like shaming or, uh, you, you know, like I'm passing judgment, that's, that's coming from your perspective and really has no reality, uh, it had no reality in my life, uh, or in the life that I had with my wife, uh, you know, four and a half years ago when she passed or the life that we had for 25 years, it just simply wasn't a, the case. So again, if you're going to make comments, anyone in future making comments on this page, I would say, always say. Uh, to watch other videos and really get caught up to what it you know what this page is about what it's trying to accomplish and really the thousands of people and family members that it is helping which is at the end of the day what it's for that's one of the reasons why TikTok and this platform is so popular and again when you're ready to work with me one on one click on the link in the link tree go to the calendar link set up a breakthrough call takes about 45 minutes to an hour we do a deep dive into what's going on with you and your family and then we go over the coaching program which of course is not free but if you're ready to change your life uh, i've helped 
a lot of people, and just as importantly, I've helped their families. Again, please like, share, and comment. We also have the Facebook group called There's an Alcoholic in the Family, which has become a very good support group. And also, I go live every night, Monday through Friday, right around 6 o'clock Pacific Standard Time, 9 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. And again, thanks for listening.